somebody. Are you blessed to be in the house of the Lord? Are you blessed to be in the house of the Lord? Who is truly blessed? Spirit of the living God, we thank you. We glorify your holy name. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in our lives. You are a great God. You are a miracle working God. My Father, we thank you for what you have done in this season. We thank you, God, for what you have done in 2024. We thank you, Lord, for the testimonies. We thank you, Lord, for the deliverances. We thank you, Lord. the great I am. You are the great I am. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. We serve a good God and we serve a mighty God. Welcome. Say to your neighbor, welcome. Welcome to your next season. You see, it's only Christians who behave like actors. One man of God put it like this. Way, he says, if there were awards in Christianity for acting, we'll receive the oxus. Is it the oxus? Or the ox? Yeah, that one. Uh -huh. Why? Because we pretend a lot. Mm, I, I don't know who told us that to be spiritual we have to be to look angry and to look miserable and to be silent. Amen. Matthew 6 verse number 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So it is possible, we can sit down in the presence of God. It is possible to seek the kingdom and neglect his righteousness. Maybe I've started. Because the kingdom of God is governed by his laws and regulations. Amen. So it is possible to know the laws of God. And not know his righteousness. I, 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 I know. <laughs> because the kingdom has something to do with how you operate. I don't have to love the king for me to operate in the United of United Kingdom. I don't know if you're hearing me. I don't have to understand what he likes or to have a relationship with him for me to prosper in this land. All I have to do is to understand how does this kingdom operate. Amen. Amen, somebody. But there is something which is wrong for me just understanding the kingdom and not understand what the king likes. Amen, somebody. Say, so welcome to the great harvest. To the great harvest. So the writer says, seek ye first as the mandatory or as the main thing. His kingdom. And we've studied the kingdom of God that his kingdom is governed by his laws. And in a kingdom, there is a king who manages that domain. 
Hallelujah, somebody. And the domain it is policed by his laws. But here now God goes even further and he says, I need you also to seek his righteousness. It sounds like a contradiction. How do I look for something that I have? It is logical common sense if I come to Minister Miran and said, can you go seek for Minister Octavia? Because they are two, you are two different entities, which means that you might be two different localities. But when I say now, can you go look for Minister Miranda? It sounds like a contradiction. How do I find myself when I am myself? For your Bible says we have been given the gift of righteousness. It's not that it is somewhere or it is over somewhere, but it's already in us. The life that we are living or enjoying, we are enjoying it by the righteousness of God. So what exactly is the writer talking about? Hello, somebody. God bless you. I'm so excited to have you here in this house of the Lord. I know there are some who have joined online. I know there are some who have joined on uh, social media on now. Uh, I think it's the Instagram. We are now looking forward to go back again on online and really share the word of God and really move with the word of God because we are near the end. The end is coming. And our mandate it is to win as many souls as we can. And as we win as many souls as we can, our secondary mandate it is to raise disciples. And our ultimate mandate it is to raise generals of God or God generals. Amen. And this happens by your desire. Your desire. Does that make sense to somebody? Your desire. This is where I wanted to start. This is where I wanted to start. In this year of the great harvest, you might be disappointed not because God has not blessed you. You might be disappointed not because God has not put the things in place. You'll be disappointed because you let the hunger I touched on this on Thursday, didn't I? You let the hunger to receive. You let the hunger, the appetite to receive or to become. Amen. In the Bible, there were two ladies, wonderful. They loved God. They loved the Lord. They loved the Lord Jesus Christ. It was Mary and Martha. Both of them, they loved God. But one time their brother passed away and when their brother had passed away, what happened to them, they summoned our Lord Jesus Christ. Says, your friend that you love has died. Can you please come and see unto it that you do something about it? And I know in our lives we've got some situations that, that we need God to do something about it. Then with, with not wasting much time, our Lord Jesus Christ traveled for the night to come and see a dead man. Hallelujah, somebody. 
traveled for the night to come and see a dead man. I don't know if you are hearing me online. Whatsoever people said you are nothing, when they said you are a failure, when they say to you that you are disappointed, a disappointment, I'm here to declare and decree upon your life that that was a lie from the pits of hell. If God is the same God who could spend the whole night to come and see a dead body, listen to me, somebody. This is not the end of you, but this is just the beginning of your destiny. Maleperia katosia kayada. I'm trying to teach. So the Bible says then he traveled and he arrived and he saw the two sisters. And their activities and their actions, when you look at them, both of them, they were absolutely good. But they were not divine. It is said that one of them then came and sat at the feet of Jesus. And the other one went into the kitchen and began to, to prepare the, the meal for them to eat. Uh, it looks amazing. It looks good, isn't it? That they are preparing, she's preparing a meal for God to eat. But while she was in the kitchen and the other sister is sitting at the feet of Jesus, she began to feel some type of a certain way. And she came to Jesus and says, it is just I who's making food in the kitchen. Listen to me, somebody. Jesus is in the sin is on the sin and the other sister is listening to Jesus while he's speaking what kind of audacity <laughs> both of them had faith I believe and their activities also proves that they, they had faith because they summoned God to come and resurrect the brother but now it is the activities of the two sisters in the presence of God. Because one goes into the kitchen and the other one sit at the feet of Jesus. Can I explain something here now? I told you that there is a difference between the kingdom and his righteousness. There is a difference when you seek the kingdom and there is a difference when you seek his righteousness. Because the one in the kitchen was after his kingdom. The one in the kitchen was following the principle of serving and to serve the man of God and to make sure that the man of God is well fed. But the second sister came and sat at his feet. She was looking for a relation. She was looking for a relationship. Ah. Hello, somebody. Because you have to understand now that in, in, in these days, these people used to have servants. People who cook, clean, take them to certain places. But they decided, she decided to go to the kitchen. When your deliverer is at the place, and you forget that he has come to bring forth your solution. You, you just, what should I do? Let me go to, to the kitchen. In your Bible says, my people perish because of lack of. And your Bible says, the, entr the entrance of thy word giveth forth. light faith amen somebody I 
I want to go into my message, but let me deal with this for a second. Your capacity to fully receive, it is at the mercy of your preparation. Your capacity to fully receive, it is at the mercy of your preparation. You only receive what you have prepared to receive. No, no, are you hearing me now? You can only receive what you have prepared to receive. God is not wasteful. Let me say that again. God is not wasteful. He will re release to you what you have the capacity to contain. What you have prepared to contain. Amen, somebody. The bigger the capacity, the bigger the reward. Amen. I'm waiting on God to move. And God is saying, I'm waiting on you to increase your capacity. I'm praying this year that we change our ways for the better. Not waiting maybe for the woman of God or the man of God to be on the scene. If I, okay, if, if we do a census, we do a census, and I'll say, how many hours in prayer did you spend just for this service? Not to minister, but just to receive. It's a simple question. And your Bible now says, says, the children of the world are far wiser than the children in, in the church. You see, it, hate, you know, it hurts my feelings, but it is true. There is a man called Usain Bolt. The man can run. Training or, or no training, the man can <laughs> run. I know he has retired, but even in his retirement, yeah, he is still one of the fastest. But you see something that he would do before he goes in onto the track to run. He will practice, he will prepare before the race. Most of us believers, we want to prepare in the race. It's too late. You want to prepare in the fight. It's already too late. You want to get ready for a business when you are in business. It's already too late. You want to be ready for children when you have children. It's already too late. You want to be ready for, you want to be ready for marriage in marriage. It's already too late. Was it last year I told you that I've already completed 2024 and thought it was a joke? No. No. You are ever, you are ever surprised by everything. <laughs> the, oh, <laughs> can I say this? Maybe let this close your ears because you love surprises. The more surprised you are, it is the evidence of the less prepared you are. The more surprised you are, it is the evidence of the less prepared you are. Amen? Okay, let me give you a, a simple example. At home, who, who has um, a bed where they go sleeping? All of us, right? Who has been surprised by their bed? It's like, wow, this is my bed. Never. Why? Because you are prepared. You know this is my. You already know 
So it means that you are prepared. What day did you go to your bed? You begin to look, investigate the mattress, investigate underneath. Oh, you just, you will leave your downstairs, you climb upstairs, you throw your blanket to the other side and you jump in, you close the blankets and you go to sleep. There's, there is this thing that is a spontaneous worship. It just happens. It doesn't happen. <laughs> there is preparation. There is preparation. Because it is in your preparation that will determine your amount of harvest. I hope you are flowing with me. I need to close very quickly. I need to close very, 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 very quickly. Can we have Second Corinthians chapter number 9, verse number 9? I think I'll go into my message for today now. Actually, let's go to we'll do it this way. Go to Psalms 45, verse number 4. Psalms 45, verse number 4. Psalms, Psalms 45, verse number 4. Mm -hmm. And it reads, And in their majesty write prosperously mm -hmm. because of the truth and the meekness and righteousness. Uh -huh. And they in thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Mm -hmm. Can we go to Matthew chapter number 5, verse number 6? Matthew chapter 5, verses number 6, and it reads, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. And may you can sit down in the presence of God. <sighs> Blessed are they that thirst after righteousness and hunger after righteousness. I know some of you, you do what's it called? It's a food prep. You know? And some of you cook the food so that when you come back from work, it is there for your stomach for you to eat. Amen. If I ask a symbol, why do you do that? Ah, preparation. So that when it's time to cook, it is what? And what? What's the second part? Easy. Easily. Easy. 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 Amen. Amen. No, God, God is practical. Christianity is very practical. If it's not practical, it's no longer Christian. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't be too much spooky. <laughs> You're like, I'm just waiting for the angel of the Lord. We see angels, I understand. I'm just waiting for me. Just prepare your food, ne? Just prepare yourself before you go to work. Hello, somebody. Just prepare yourself before you go to. God favor me. God favor me. Does your dressing attract favor? <laughs> You're praying, God, come and favor me. People, they have to, what's that thing you put um, cloth and you, that clipper thing, what's it called? 
you know, on the laundry, on the laundry, laundry line, when you put laundry outside, the pegs. They have to put a peg to come and bless you. God is like, ever me. Ah. Even God said, <laughs> cleanliness is nextly to. Preparation, somebody. Because how do I seek for his righteousness when I have inherited his righteousness? So really what God is saying, it is an awakening of his righteousness that I possess. It is a, it is, it is a journey of self-discovery. It is finding myself. I don't know if you're hearing me. It is discovering myself. It is a process of discovering the right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the process. It is a process. It is a process. And your Bible says, when, you, when people see you, they are supposed to see God. Hallelujah. Thank you. When people see you, they are supposed to see God. When you go to work, who do they see? Oh, they are now praying to your God. Say, God, may you deliver us from this devil. Have you seen? Anyway. Online, close your ears. Let me deal with my children here. Have you ever seen that the most difficult people to work with at work are Christians? The most difficult people, Christians. Which verse in the Bible that says thou shalt be difficult at the place of work? None. But we are trying to evangelize. We are trying to, to, to make Jesus famous. But our personality and character and attitude stinks. But we are talking for we are the righteousness of God. You have something of God inside of you, but your personality does not reflect what is inside of you. Amen. The three disciples that went to the Mount of Transfiguration with Jesus, watch, watch what happened. They knew that Jesus performed miracles, raised the dead. But they had not seen what was inside of him. But at the Mount of Transfiguration, it, it began to transfigure himself. And they saw the glory of God inside of him. Can what is inside of you begin to be seen outside of you? It's righteousness. It is righteousness. Somebody say righteousness. 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 Because I know, children of God, that we don't, okay, become the reality of your confessions. Become the reality of your confessions. The truth of the matter it is, it is this. It has, but it's true. It is we have not yet arrived to a level where people have the desire to ask us where we pray. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. Have you ever seen that, you know, you might be wearing clothes every day. You, you do your business with your clothes and everything every day and you, no one asks you a question. 
then one certain day you wear a certain outfit and they'll begin to ask you where did you get it from I, 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 I was not naked yesterday neither was I naked last week or last year what has caused you to ask it is the quality of the product that you put on the reason why they don't ask about our God it is the quality of the manifestation that we have not yet put on uh -huh, uh -huh. I, I know Christ in me, the hope of glory. I understand, I agree with you. God also only looks at the heart. I agree and I understand with you. But what kind of a heart is that? Uh, let's be honest. If our God is looking at the heart and at your heart, why is it that what is in your heart is not appealing to those around you? Hello. We're nearly one o'clock. I'm about to close. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Why is it not appealing? This is what Apostle Paul says now in Galatians, in the book of Galatians. Do not frustrate the grace of God. What is favor? Favor, it is the grace of God. It is the glory of God in manifestation. But what are you manifesting? Hello? What are you manifesting, child of God? What are you manifesting? Amen. <laughs> oh God, oh, I need a husband, I need a wife, I need a wife. And you become someone prayer point. You become a demon in the house. Amen. If God gives you that promotion, if God gives you that money, are we going to survive? Or is it the end of us? That's the reason why preparation is important. It is of the most utter importance this year. Prepare yourself. You know when you go for an interview, they've taught us these things, even those in the world. When you go for an interview, yeah, they will tell you, ah, go on Google. Study the company, what they do, what they like. Eh? Ask around. What are they going to ask you in the interview? Eh? You don't just arrive and enter. You prepare yourself before. Hallelujah, somebody. You prepare yourself before. It's a before issue. It is a before matter. La rakose tala baragize se terianda pakaria de hus. Male kuksha kaya diza supradija shaya. Okay, let me land on this point. James 3, verse number 18. Male do hus supradija sikataya de brigiza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So James chapter 3 verses 18 and it reads and the fruit of righteousness in is sown in the peace of them that make peace. And who now? And the right then the fruit of righteousness uh -huh. is so sown in the peace of them that make peace. Okay, let's go to Philippians chapter number 1 verse number 1. Philippians chapter 1, verses 1. And verse 11, sorry. Verse 11. 
Philippians 1 11 and it reads being filled with the fruit of righteousness be what be filled with the fruit of righteousness okay which are by Jesus Christ mm -hmm. unto the glory and praise of God read it again very slowly filled with the, the fruit of righteousness being what filled with the fruits with the fruits with the fruits with the fruits of righteousness uh -huh. which are by Jesus Christ unto the glory and praise of God hallelujah I know you've done a bit of studying what comes first the seed of the fruit what did your verse say Being filled with what? The fruits of righteousness. The, the what? Fruits of righteousness. And I, I, I know you're not getting it. I'll say it one more time. Being filled with the fruits of righteousness. The seed is for the one who is farming. The fruit is for the one who is. Aha, uh -huh, she's getting it. She's getting it. Being filled. Where's this taking place? The Bible says you have the righteousness of Christ. You have the righteousness of God. You are right. You have been given the gift of righteousness. So where is the fruit of righteousness coming? You have the gift. Now you are being filled with the fruits. Where are the fruits of righteousness going? Yes. Next week, we'll deal with what causes you to have the fruits. There are those who have righteousness, but they are not manifesting righteousness. Then as a result, they are not beneficiary of righteousness. Apostle Paul put it like this. says, to those who are with us, we are like an aroma of goodness. What, what was Apostle Paul emanating? To those who are with us. Those who are in agreement with us. We are like an aroma of righteousness. But to those who are against us, we are like a stench of death. What is it that the man was producing? What kind of a fragrance was he producing? I know you're too spiritual. There is a dimension where you reach as a child of God. That you, you begin to see the fruits of righteousness. At, 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 at the beginning, it, it only affects you. But as time goes on, as you're manifesting the righteousness of God, the fruits of righteousness, they begin to have an influence around your environment. You begin to command a fragrance that you introduce yourself before you arrive. People begin to hear of you, to know of you before you arrive. There is a woman in the olden days, her name was Maria Woodworth. She, she did not have to put an, an advert, but the people knew that she was in the sit here because the people will begin to, to be slain in the spirit. They will begin to fall under the power of God. What was that? It was the righteousness of God in manifestation. Your Bible says in the book of Matthew then when they were praying at the Mount of Transfiguration the glory of God came upon them and in the glory of God 
hallelujah in the glory of God the prophet of old appeared and your bible declares to you then the disciples were perplexed were confused and they asked a ridiculous question can we build tabernacles for the prophet of God so that they can stay they can habitate in, in these shelters why because they were overshadowed by the glory of God and your Bible says the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead resides inside of you and if you study in the Old Testament if you study in the Isaiah if you study even Ezekiel the prophet you discover something that the spirit of God is the glory of God Makatala Barakusha and last week we start we, we began to study the scriptures and we came to a revelation that the righteousness of God is the life of God if the righteousness of God is if it's the life of God then the spirit of God is the righteousness of God and if the spirit of God is the righteousness of God it means then the righteousness of God is God Makatele broto shakayada. I need to close. Ilakatele peria katohusha. So who are you? Now I close. Who are you? Malakia tole broto shakayada. Somebody this year, you are going to produce. You are going to produce. Makatelia katohusha. The Bible shows us clues. It says, Out of thy belly shall flow rivers of living waters. But we do not understand what the Bible is saying. The gospel is not just for us, the gospel is for the world. The gospel is for transformation. The gospel it is for change. I don't feel like preaching, but you're pushing me to preach. Venante kelebroto shakayada. Liko shakayada. I declare and decree over your life, somebody. If they do not know you in 2023, this year they are going to experience you. This year they are going to experience you. I pray for an action that when kings are sleeping, when leaders are sleeping, they'll be dreaming about you. They'll be thinking about you in the mighty name of Jesus. I come again in the spirit of inferior complex. I come again in the spirit of inferior complex. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I asked you a question. Who are you? Maleketele marakataya. I'm sick and tired of anointed men and women of God walking with their head on the side in the name of humility. No, 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 no. The devil is a liar. Do you know who is inside of you? Do you know who is inside of you? Do you know who is inside of you? The Bible declares, it says, if the spirit that raised Christ from the dead, Shakatele Marokusa, is residing inside of you, surely, surely he shall quicken your mortal body. And Apostle Paul says, I have checked the scriptures. I have come to a conclusion that you are the tabernacle. Ah, you are the house of God and Jesus said in the gospel of John that he that believes in my word me and my father shall come and abide or reside in him he cannot you shall not walk with your head on the side 
You need to say to them, it is, it is to your privilege that I am here. I know you feel like it's not arrogance. No, 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 no. It is to your beneficiary that I am here. You see, when you know who you are, it becomes easy to prepare. The reason why you are not preparing, I hold it for, for now, it is this. You do not know who you are. The reason why you were not preparing, it is on this note. Because you have co concluded to yourself that you are not of great significance. You know, if you go into the royal family, at a tender age, they begin to train them. Because they understand the value The reason when, when we say let's pray, you don't pray. It is you do not know who you are. You don't understand what you carry. Into this. The Bible says in the Old Testament, and then, then the, 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 the Philistine had, had taken the Ark of the Covenant and they placed it where their God Dagon was. And, and, and to their surprise, when they went there the following day, and their God had fallen first forward. And they went the other day, the same thing had happened again. And, and, and suddenly they begin to see that the men were beginning to have boils around them. What was taking place? They had taken the glory that not belonged to them. And the Bible says, and God will come and reside upon the ark. Mm. And Apostle Paul has said, you are the tabernacle. And this is, what, this is what God said. He says, I do not dwell in temples made out of human hands. And God said, you are my temple. It is a lie from the pits of hell that your enemies have placed you where they desire. It cannot be. If Dagon could not stand the Ark of the Covenant, how can they stand you? How can they stand you? How can poverty stand you? How can death stand you? How can miscarriage stand you? Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Male Protoxia Kalamari Jesus here. The verse that I had in the Bible, Galatians chapter number one, as long you are still childish or babyish, you also be treated like a child and like, and like a babe. Not because you are a child or a babe, but because you are just ill educated. Even though you are the king and the master. But because you are not walking, you are not walking as a king. You are not talking as a king. You know, th th there are ways how kings, they, they communicate. It seems like they have all the time in the world. Am I saying be slow or sluggish? No. But they have to be a certain etiquette about yourself. They have to be a certain aura about yourself. I started about cleanliness. I started about how you present yourself. You, you cannot just dress anyhow. They have to be a certain... You, you, <laughs> Do you know who you are? People need to know that God is in the area, in place. I know people used to hate him and say, wait, where God lives? They say, God lives in Manchester. Yeah. Why? I'm here. It's not arrogance, it's the truth. It's the truth. You go to Japan. The moment you learn that oh, God lives here, they ask you why. I said, I'm here. I, I don't know if you're hearing me. Do you know? Do you know? 
Listen, God says, Come ye boldly to the throne of grace. Have you seen that scripture in the book of Hebrews? Come ye boldly, with boldness. How many of us go to God with boldness? somebody the devil strives on fear and we've been trained to operate by fear can you see how we are bound can we see how we are bound I know you're spiritual I have no fear uh -uh, uh -uh. turn off the lights let's see Ah. I have to, mm, mm, mm. in this year face your fears if it's darkness that fears you enter into your room and sit down and say right if there are demons around let's see each other Ah, you're scared of darkness because of what Why are we really scared of darkness? So the truth of the matter is not the darkness you're scared of. It is the appearance of demons. Hello? Hello? Because if there are no demons in darkness... You'll be comfortable. So what you need to face. One year. Because until you face it. That spirit will still control your house. Because you are declaring. Oh this house belongs to God. You switch off the light. All oh, this house belongs to the devil. You are confessing the other side, but your action are confirming what's exactly. Hello. We are the righteousness of God. I am I. Let's see it. While I was growing up, I was, um, I think it's a generational thing in my family that um, there was a fear of heights. I don't understand what I was doing, you know, while I was, you know, me and first lady were dating. Um, she probably she doesn't know because she, you know, we you know, we'll go to the cinemas, I think the one in, uh, in Birmingham. And um, this wonderful cinema in Birmingham had, um, it's a, to them, it was a beautiful glass eh? that you could see things outside. To me, it was hell on earth. <laughs> Why? Because me, as long as we are on the ground, you see, God bless us with the legs for us to be on the ground. These things of So now I believe was the spirit of the Lord. I begin to go to the window. I'll stand there at the window. What I didn't what I did not know or understood then was I was facing my ah, she smiled at me, she didn't understand. I was facing my when I realized this level sorted, went to the next, next level. What was I doing? I was facing my fears. No, 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 no. There are times where you avoid the devil. You go around, you, you make alternative routes. But there are times when you say enough is enough. 
this is my way this is my destiny if you don't get out of the way i'll walk through you that's the righteousness of god you understand you carry god i gave you the example the other day when they decided to kill jesus the bible says they took him to the edge of the city and suddenly he walked among them back into the city uh, you don't know who you are if i can teach you to know five percent of who you are you would do crazy exploits so with my story then uh, level two level three I realize now, fifth flow, nothing is happening. Now there is peace in my heart. Huh? So it means that there was a spirit that I thought before. It was natural. What is it that you think is natural that you are scared of? Hello, somebody. That thing that you are scared of, let me go a little, a little bit deeper. It is the evidence that you are still in the flesh in that department. And we understand that growth in God, it is by dying to self. The moment you conquer fear, it is evidence that you have died to self. I'll give you another testimony. Now, we can go. Fifth floor. I think there was a time first lady booked, uh, booked us a place. Was, what's this nice hotel in Manchester? Is it, he, uh, the, that one too. The, 21 stories. If I did not go, if I did not understand and defeated this spirit, I would have disqualified myself from 21 stories. Not because God has not blessed me. The blessing and the grace was there. But you know, you know when, you're, you, when you have an issue of heights. Eh? You, you know there, there is a level where your legs, they forget to carry you. They become like jelly. So even when your mind desires to go, your legs say it can't. Some of you, there are levels in God that God wants to elevate you to. But because there are some certain things in your life that you are refusing to deal with, they now become an it can't. But I faced by the Spirit of God and it was defeated. And now... I don't, I don't ponder or think to go to 21. I enter. Went to the Hittons. Nice. Very nice. Amen, somebody. Very nice. Mm. Ah. Exactly. Hey. I'd even forgotten. Amen. Went beautiful why because i dealt with the spirit and when i dealt with that spirit two things happened i died to the flesh because what happened in me was my faith increased and my dependence on god increased because you know when you fear you know really what you're really saying? God, you're not able to deal with this. That's what you're really saying. God, you are not able to deal with this. Amen. And my prayer for you, it is this. <laughs> Face your fears. Face what? Face your fears. Amen. I'm not saying go to the Goliath dimension. St start somewhere. 
start somewhere. But don't remain there, eh? I'm like, five years later, Apostle, I'm still here. Secondly, when God called me to ministry, you see, I loved ministry. But I had one issue. Speaking in public. It was not one of my you can say strength but the it was not one of my desires yeah Mm -mm. but what do you do now when you are filled with god but you lack the capacity to articulate you know when the prophet said it was like fire shut up in my bones you might not understand i understand that part because he can only minister to chairs to the bathroom for a certain while Yes. Uh huh. Hello, somebody. You are called, you are anointed. You see, you discover your anointing at the point you, dis- you, you desire to let go of yourself. Can I just kill the demon of pride while I'm here? Uh, 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 yes, let's do it. The reason why you don't do it is because you have pride. What? people are going to say if I fail. Okay. Uh, what about if you, if you succeed? I'm, I'm just, what if you, if you succeed? What if? If we are in the what if dimension. What if you succeed? Have I ever died from trying? Has failure ever killed you? Ask again. Has failure ever killed you? Are you still here? You have failed how many times? Has challenges ever killed you? No, no, no. Think of it. There was a day when I said, my, 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 I'm done. I'm finished. This is the end. But somehow, somewhere, you are still here. May that be evidence. May that be a point of confidence. I I know most of us here, we're anointed, we are gifted, but there is this pride and there's the spirit of pride, spirit of fear, hindering us back, holding us back. Okay, you are spiritual. Let's, anyway, let's expose Apostle's life. There is a milestone that we reached in, uh, with First Lady financially. Um, I think we started praying for it while we were, uh, while we were dating. Then, uh, and when we reached that milestone, it's a very nice milestone. Then the Holy Spirit began to speak of another milestone. I'll testify. I <laughs> said, ha! Ah! Even to pray about it. You know, there's some prayer points that you're like, mm-hmm. I'll do it next year. I said, ah. I said, God, um, okay. Um, okay, let's double what we are here uh, until we m- uh, manage it for now. Then we'll deal with this in the future. Amen. We're in the great harvest, isn't it? I'm about to unleash somebody's harvest. Because there's some things that you are holding back. There's some harvest that you are holding back because you are holding the seed in your hand. You're holding the seed in your mouth. And you're holding your preparation because you are scared. What if I fail? Go talk to so and so. What if if they don't talk to me. Okay. Do you really think Prince Charles cares if you don't talk to him? (laughs) Do you 
know if you change your mindset. So it is to their benefit that I'm going to talk to them. And it is to their failure and to their detriment if they do not talk to me. You have God inside of you. Listen to me. It is a privilege for pri he's a king with respect. But it is a privilege for him to speak to you. Why? Because you carry God. Don't underestimate what you have. You carry God. Listen, angels, they them said, what is man that you are mindful of him? Or the son of man that you visited him? In the pre-Adamic race, this is deliverance now, maybe I need to finish. In the pre-Adamic race, God will send Lucifer to say, Go show them that I am God. But in your season, in your time, God himself will come to you. Ah. Others God sends to you. God comes to you. That's why the, the Bible says, what is man that you are mindful of him? What is it? What is it? But he said, Oh God, me the beggar. Oh God, the obey. Hear me, child of God. You have the righteousness of God, which is the life of God. You have God inside of you. Somebody say, Is my right? to be blessed. It's my right to live in good health. It is my right to be favored by God and man. It is my right. Can you, can you feel your heart is fighting? It's like, ah! Mm -mm, no, you know, God, if you desire and if you will, if, 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 if you like, or if, you know, maybe, you know, if you have extra time, you know, if you're feeling kind on that particular day, you know, on a sunny Tuesday, you know, I'm, I'm not really asking for much, God, but you know, if you can just and God is like, where is my daughter? Where is my son? There is something about a lion. You know, when lions are training their cubs. There is a... What's the word? It is love. There is a certain kind of tough love that they begin to teach them because they cannot just walk somehow or present themselves somehow. Child of God, when you arrive in a room, they need to know Mm, something has changed. Not you enter a room, you exit a room, it's like we're not even. Hey! Ah. <laughs> you entered, you exit, nothing. Who are you? Do you know a lion? Okay. Righteousness, eh? A lion stands at the door. Without you turning, eh? Your skin and the hair on your skin will begin to tell you a message that something is not well. The lion is not rolled. No, 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 no. It's just standing there. Not spoken to anyone. Presence. But you, you enter. Uh, you exit. Uh, the favor of God. Head down. Head on the side. 
men, men who have our pants in our pockets looking down. Women with your hands back. Is it wind? A little class. You have the righteousness of God. Know this. Jesus died on the cross for you. Not to be subject to the devil. Neither to his tactics. If you are still scared of the devil, it is evident that your faith in God needs elevation. Because your Bible says, then God defeated the devil. Amen. And the same God that defeated the devil is inside of you. And he came inside of you because you believed. I, I know because, yeah, you know, especially pastors. Like, okay, the reason why you are under this attack is because you did A, B, C, D. And I, I know we love that part. Yeah. That's why we're even, you know, cursing uh, all these men of God. Uh, it's happening on TV and all, all these other things. No, it's because the men of God did them. Um, you know, forgiveness takes less than a second for you to be forgiven. Am I, am I promoting sin? No. But what I want you to have in your spirit, it is not for you to become subject to the devil. Because the devil will come and say, you are experiencing experiencing this because you did A, B, C, D yesterday. Uh -huh, yes, you know when uh -huh. and you know. Hmm? Hello. Let's be on our feet. Alava sikata yadaba vevene mele brodosha rate hese sika yadaba I want us to pray and ask God for forgiveness that where we have walked in air where we, we have walked in fear thinking that it was humility Father we ask for forgiveness where we have not represented him as a lion Father we ask for forgiveness my God, my Father, we come as a body, as a ministry, as a church. Where, Lord, we have not walked in divine authority, in dominion. Father, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Wash us, Lord, and cleanse us, Lord, with your precious blood. Wash us, Lord, and cleanse us with your precious blood, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to declare this now. I don't know what you've been fearing. I don't know what has been standing in front of you. If you have a specific thing, I want you to say, say, all you fear, all you fear, all you fear, all you fear in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you can no longer stand in my way you can no longer stand in my way this is my time this is my time I'm walking through now I'm walking through now I'm walking through now I'm walking through now get out of the way get out of the way Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I'm walking through now. I'm walking through now. I'm walking through now. If you're using man, I'm walking through. If you're using objects, I'm walking through. If you're using the elements of the earth, I'm walking through. I'm walking through. I'm walking through. Begin to pray somebody. Paratatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
Makata lebroto soko koko brigiza sakaya. No matter how you come and flash yourself, nakata teke tele grosha kata lebrodosha. No matter how you come and flash yourself, makata le gosha kata lebroto soko toriata. No matter how you come and flash yourself. We are walking through. We are walking through. We are walking through. We are bypassing you. We are walking through. We are bulldozing. We are bulldozing. We are bulldozing. We are bulldozing. No more negotiations. No more negotiations. No more negotiations. We are bulldozing. We are bulldozing. We are bulldozing. We are bulldozing in the name of Jesus. What is that that you are scared of? What is that that you are scared of? Announce your presence. Begin to announce your presence. That is I, Jehoshaphat of the Most High God. Makatele broto shakayadaham. O oh, ye ancient gates, sheba katala base kotoriham, resisting me, she katala bakatehem. O oh, ye ancient gates, resisting me, this is my time, this is my season to walk through. Makatala barakayatam. If you don't open, makatala baragashakam. I am walking through. I am walking through, I am walking through, I am bulldozing through in the name of Jesus. You are too anointed to be restricted. You are too anointed to be limited. You are too anointed to be bound. Paleko toke telia parada. Eshele mente kelia kata. You spirit, you spirit of religion in Charlie. Akatele boko toyada. We are here and we are here to stay. Sakatele boko tolia kata ya. Paleko toyata. Open up, open up, open up the gates. Bakatele boko toyaha. Veranda kata la bakatea. In the name of Jesus. There was a wind that came. When Jesus decided to go to the other side. There was a wind. Which was turbulence. Which was a resistance from the devil. To stop him to go to the other side. Because on the other side there was a man with a prophetic word. He was his mandate and assignment was to gather men. He was an evangelist. But now Jesus was crossing to the other side. And the wind and the storm began to erupt to stop him or to cause fear against him. I don't know what storm that the devil has evoked against your life. To try to cause you to be afraid. But today we declare and decree. Storm or no storm. We are crossing over to the other side. We are crossing over to the other side. Storm or no storm. We are, cause we are crossing over. In the name of Jesus. Somebody declare and decree right now. Say I have the righteousness of God. I have the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of God. Here on earth. I am the righteousness of God. Here on earth. I have been made perfect. I have been made perfect. By our Lord Jesus Christ. By our Lord Jesus Christ. Surely. I am a new creation. In Christ Jesus, I have the life of God. I have the life of God. I have the life of God. I have the blood of God. Surely, old things 
have passed away passed away passed away I declare and decree because I'm a child of God according to his word this earth is my inheritance it is my inheritance for it is my inheritance I am a beneficiary I am a beneficiary I am a beneficiary I will enjoy I will enjoy the earth the earth and everything that is within it because I'm a beneficiary of the earth anyone that will try to summon the earth against me it will fail it will fail it will fail in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life in Jesus name that you increase in this year you will be a sign and a wonder in this year of 2024 you are blessed marriages will take place in this place businesses will start in this place families will be restored in this place testimonies will be testimony after testimony after testimony in this place you ascend yonder in the realm of the spirit you will become an ancient in terms of spiritually speaking. You will become a giant in the things of God. Your eyes are being opened to see clearly and far. And I declare and decree upon your life. You will not be surprised anymore. Nothing will happen without God telling you beforehand. For the Bible says... I cannot do anything unless I reveal it to Abraham, my prophet. And my Bible declares again that my God is the same yesterday, today, and, and forevermore. And is no respecter of man. Father, I give you praise. Walk in righteousness. Speak in righteousness. Work in righteousness. Love in righteousness. Pray in righteousness. Worship in righteousness. Experience righteousness. Be a beneficiary of righteousness. In Jesus name. When you pray, pray with righteousness. This week is a, it's a righteous week. This week has accepted you that you are victorious. This week has accepted you that you are more than a conqueror. This week, good news have, has, have accepted that they are coming to you. Yes, money will visit you this week. Opportunities will visit you this week. Favor will visit you this week. Surely you are heavenly covered. The blood of Jesus is upon you and your household. Healing will begin to ooze out of you. Healing will begin to flow out of you. Those who meet you this week, they are surely blessed. In Jesus' name.